I am sure everyone here, when's the last time you walk down the aisle in your, in your food store and you see the probiotic aisle, right? And I have patients ask me this all the time, which one should I take? What should people look for when they go down that aisle, aside from the pretty package? Well, I think it's important that it's a supplement and it's, mm -hmm. it's not um, necessarily always scientifically vet vetted or regulated like a medication. So I it agree. is not a true medication. Yep. I actually would, would recommend prebiotic food sources. They're basically all the same type of foods you've been told to consume to prevent <laughs> cancer. These are healthy foods for a reason, and one of the, the mechanisms by which they are healthy is through the microbiome. Sometimes it's the part we take off of grains. When we have refined grains, we're removing the aspect that has the prebiotics in it. I have a lot of what's called resistant starch, which is the fuel for the gut that the microbiome metabolizes. That's one way to enrich the good things that are already there. Probiotics are a way to replenish, and those are both two ways to restore balance, but it truly is a balance. It's not a, a one component thing. Anytime you're taking an antibiotic, I think you should be taking a probiotic. We take anti-inflammatory medication, okay? Everybody's upset about anti-inflammatory medications, concerned about the potential of developing ulcers. That's lovely, except 75% of the people taking long-term anti-inflammatory medications develop ulcerations in the small intestine that are quote unquote asymptomatic, except now you've destroyed your gut mucosal barrier. So lots of things are now moving into the bloodstream that have no business being there. Also taking probiotics seem in several studies to right the floor of the gut, get it back into balance.